the state of Utah is taking action to help save the Great Salt Lake's natural ecology. You can think of it as emergency surgery for the Great Salt Lake. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow explains. Utah's Department of Natural Resources is trying to keep the Great Salt Lake healthy, and lately parts of it have gotten a little too salty. So we're trying to keep the ecosystem functioning as sustainably as we can as we're seeing these historic low lake levels. The Union Pacific Causeway was first built in 1902. It divides the north and south arms of the Great Salt Lake. You can see two distinctive colors. The pink is the saltier north side, the blue the less salty south side. In 2016, it was breached to improve water flows, but as the lake has declined, the north arm's salinity has caused the south ends to increase. The heavier water pushes its way through the bottom of the channel, while the, the lighter, less salty water pushes its way to the top. So too much water is getting pushed into the, into the south arm. That's bad for brine shrimp and the birds that feed off of them impacting the ecosystem. As we're seeing less freshwater inflows into Great Salt Lake, we're seeing increased salinity levels and we're excited that we actually have an adaptive tool that will allow us to manipulate the salinity or try and minimize the impacts to the brine shrimp population. So state officials decided to raise a berm in the causeway by four feet. And with the drought continuing, you know, we just need to do all that we can to keep the salinity levels where they're, where they're manageable. It's timely and important. One environmental group supports the move. We know, Ben, that based on the water issues that Great Salt Lake is encountering currently with the decline and the increased salinity um, that is life-threatening, there are, are a number of integrated measures that need to be employed in order to address the needs of the lake. Preliminary data shows it appears to be working. The action basically stops the bleeding, but the Great Salt Lake continues to shrink from a lack of water coming into it. State officials say you can help reverse things. I think we all just need to be mindful about how we use water. Um, we're one of the driest states in the nation. And now the state is not ruling out future actions like this to continue to balance the salinity. At the Great Salt Lake, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.